A warm welcome to this week's meditation. As it's November the 11th, Remembrance Day, this meditation is going to be focused on the soldier, the soldier at the cross. I stand alone at the cross. I stand and confront my enemies alone in the battle. My team may be around me, but the battle does not belong to me. It belongs to the land and to the people. I follow orders and take instructions and do my duty. The first person Christ revealed himself to was a centurion soldier. Not just any soldier. In Jesus' time, a centurion was an elite soldier, a man at the top of his game, maybe someone like the SAS today. He would have been on the battlefield, seen some real horrors and destructions of war, even killed and possibly tortured Christ and prisoners himself. Yet Christ chose to reveal himself to him at his crucifixion. This man truly is the Son of God. In Mark 15 verses 39. As the centurion stood with the two Marys, Mary, Christ's mother, and her sister-in-law, Mary, alongside James, they all would have witnessed the horrors of the crucifixion, the piercing of the sword in Christ's side. Just as it had been foretold by Simeon when Jesus was a baby and brought to the temple by his mother, Mary, and Joseph, a sword would pierce her own soul. Was this the moment that the sword would pierce her soul? as she witnessed her own son's death and crucifixion, as Christ was pierced with a sword himself. The centurion would have commanded his soldiers to proceed at the cross. And as the hour drew near, near to Christ's death, the clouds darkened and the veil was torn in two and the ravens screeched and the centurion says, this man is truly the Son of God. How amazing. In Christ's very death, he revealed the truth of who he was to a centurion soldier. Can you imagine the things a Roman soldier would have done and the atrocities he would have seen? And yet, on his death, Christ's death, he revealed himself to this soldier and he became the first Christian, as Christ revealed himself to him, for he surely knew he was the Son of God. Through Christ there is hope for all mankind. God's grace and mercy extends all our sin. So as Mary watched her son's tortured body in death, we understand that war and suffering extends beyond the soldier. The soldier who dies beyond the soldier and the impact on their families and friends and the communities, such pain, suffering and such loss. The Psalms offer a great place to look for solace and comfort for those who have witnessed wars and been involved in wars. God knows all, God knows how we're feeling and the Psalms give expression to our pain and grief, even a place to protest at God, wake up, where have you been? We can be angry with God at times when we see such hurt and suffering, especially when we witness the cross. Christ knew what that soldier had done, what his part was in the violent crucifixion. Yet he revealed himself as the son of man and he forgave. Like soldiers in many wars, the impact ripples throughout the community and continues to impact on some individuals in nightmares, depression, addiction, anguish. But in the crucifixion lies our hope for the future. Corrie Tam Boom, a victim of the Holocaust, a Christian, comforted both Jewish and Christian women alike and was able to connect and express their grief and keep their faith alive. Covered in fleas, she would say, without the fleas, would it have been possible for women to cry out to God and lament together in the evening as they huddled together and shared the Psalms? Psalm 139. Surely the darkness shall cover me 
and the light around me become night and even the darkness is not dark to you. So this remember Remembrance Day, let us remember the soldiers past and present, their families and friends doing their duty and remember that our Saviour Jesus Christ revealed himself to the soldier, the centurion at the cross. Psalm 32 Happy are those whose sins are forgiven, whose wrongs are pardoned. Happy is he who the Lord does not accuse of wrongdoing and who is free from all deceit. Such hope in the crucifixion. In Psalm 130, hear my cry, O Lord, and listen to my call for help. If you kept a record of sins, who could escape being condemned? But you forgive us so that we should stand in awe of you. Let us not forget, forget. Let us not forget to remember the centurion. Christ he revealed, revealed himself to us all. And the first person was a soldier, a centurion at the cross. Surely there is hope for us all. Let me read you the soldier's prayer taken from the book, Lord, hear my cry. Let us pray for all who suffer as a result of war, for the injured and the disabled, for the mentally distressed, and for those whose faith in God and in man has been weakened or destroyed, for the homeless and the refugees, for those who are hungry, and for all those who have lost their livelihoods and security, for those who mourn their dead, those who have lost husbands, wives, children or parents, and especially for those who have no hope in Christ to sustain them from grief. O oh Lord, as your blood runs red, please remember our dead. For those who live and feel their pain, Lord, remember them and bring us peace in Jesus' name. Amen.